You have probably asked yourself a million times now, why Linux is faster than Windows? Well, I might have the answer for that. Some people might think that the slowdown of Microsoft's operating systems is a problem that just appeared in the last couple of years, and that Linux always been fast. But no, the same way you as a Windows user feel horrible about how slow is your Windows machine, there is a Linux user out there hating the hell out of his life because of how slow is his Ubuntu machine. You f liar stop telling people that linux is perfect but to be clear linux is not perfect but generally faster now talking about microsoft with the release of windows 11 microsoft decided to take it to the next level and added copilots recall and simply a lot of stuff that the regular windows user wouldn't even care about and of course that comes for the cost of your data and privacy as a windows user now let me give you a simple explanation if microsoft really cared about your machine performance sorry but that's not gonna happen or never gonna happen will you find copilots in the corner of your taskbar of course not because generally adding a future means more resources need to be used in order for that future to perform well and the other side we have linux no copilots no recall no bullshit you install linux and you use linux no deploying needed for more performance we cannot deny the fact that linux is well different in a way where it gives you the absolute freedom to do simply anything you want to do with it but i got some bad news for you. You need to use the terminal. In Windows, for example, things are pretty much straightforward. Click here and click there and you're ready to go. But in Linux, it's different. You have to deal with the distro face to face. And at this point, Linux is all yours. What I mean with that is that Linux given freedom to its users wasn't a bad idea in the first place. Where you or me could optimize our machines to the maximum, to the point where you can remove the desktop environment and work only with tech, like these hackers in movies, you know what I'm saying? Well, Windows put limitations in front of your face and tell you to step back. And if Windows tweaks developers doesn't exist, Windows was gonna be the least optimized operating system in the world. Of course, a lot of you guys will be like, oh, Windows is not slow for me. It's working just fine. My answer for that is by asking a simple question. Have you ever tried Linux? Because if you didn't, you will never know the actual performance of your machine. A simple example, if we took a laptop from the early 2000s and installed the Windows 11 on it, how good will it work with it? If yes, you don't know the answer, I can tell you that the experience is going to be horrible. But if we took a modern Linux distro and installed it on that same machine, the difference is going to be clear. And by installing Linux, you're basically giving a new life to that two decades old machine. You know, Linux kernels are smaller and more modular than Windows kernels requiring less RAM and CPU usage. Additionally, many Linux distributions are designed to be lightweight, with minimal desktop environments and pre-installed software, further reducing resource demand. I was thinking of going deep into that rabbit hole by explaining the little details of why Linux is faster than Windows, but found out it was more complicated than you might imagine. But to simplify it, I could say that the kernel of the operating system is the one that decides if your machine gonna run well or not. Before I end that video, I have a question for you guys. What was the most optimized operating system you ever used? Let me know in the comments. I would love to read them. See you in the next one.